Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Gabby. I'm a sales consultant here at Northside Mitsubishi. I am an Outlander and PHEV specialist. And today I'm gonna to be doing a very quick walk around video for you all on my incredible 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. This one here is our LE Super All Wheel Control. Uh, so the LE is gonna be the second trim level available for that PHEV lineup. There are about five trim levels for the PHEV. Uh, so we started the ES. LE is the second trim level available this one so again you're gonna have a lot of amazing features it is slightly dirty please be nice in the comments i uh, this vehicle literally just came off the truck i took off all the plastic so i can do a very quick walk around video for everyone here that way you can have a look and learn a bit more about the outlander PHEV and all that it comes equipped with so first things first we are going to have a nice 2.5 liter four cylinder engine for a hybrid and for a seven seater suv it is very very fuel efficient guys we have a 20 kilowatt battery size and so we have a fuel economy of about 3.6 liters over 100 kilometers combined it is incredibly fuel efficient it is super super powerful we have about 248 horsepower for the phev so it's a nice upgrade from the outlander from the 184 that it has it is an incredible drive guys if you have not driven the outlander phev i really do implore you to go test it go drive it if you never heard of a plug-in hybrid before give me a call and we can chat about it it is an incredible vehicle essentially what a plug-in hybrid is is that we have the option to plug in the vehicle to charge it and then you have the option to engage your gas engine so that way you can also charge the battery so i will show you a couple different ways i'll make a couple more videos as well so we can have a little examples but we're going to go over the basics so first things first we have as you can see the led daytime running headlights we are going to have the um, led headlamps and your fog lights underneath for extra light exposure nice thing about this vehicle first of all i'm sure that you cannot hear it it is incredibly silent and it is currently on right now uh, so it's a really nice option it's currently in ev mode so i'm not dying of the gas fumes um one thing i always love to show off is my headlamp washers because i've noticed a lot of customers don't know about it and so your sales person salesperson is not telling you about it basically it's a very subtle feature but when your headlamp as you can see i have a little bit of dirt there a little bit of grimy stuff every time my headlamp lights are on and activated when i activate my windshield wipers and i use the fluid to wipe off my windshield it's going to actually activate my headlamps washer will come out spray off any dirt debris on my headlamp so it's going to clear off all this gunk right here for me so again that is only active when your headlamps are on and when you use your windshield wiper uh, fluid so just something for you guys to know for the outlander pgv le we're going to be sitting on 18 inch alloy wheels alloy rims sorry with <laughs> your all season tires um and so these are the ones that would come equipped from mitsubishi and from the factory moving on the only way you can tell it's a plug-in hybrid is with this nice beautiful badge if it doesn't have this it's a regular gas outlander for the le we're gonna have a lot of features first things keyless entry one of my favorites we are gonna have blind spot warning turn signal integrated lamp, multi-view camera system, and this is a power folding side view mirror, so it can fold automatically for you. Just as an example, this little button right here, if I press that, it's gonna fold my mirrors in, so even as you're driving, you can fold it in. Maybe if you're in like a, a drive-through, or a, for example, you don't wanna hit anything. When it locks as well, it will lock for you. Let's have a look at the back as well. We're gonna get the nice powered lift gate button. And this here, a bit messy. This is where your charging cord is and everything. We get some nice carpet mats from Mitsubishi. This here's the trunk space that you're going to get with the seven seater. So it is a seven seater stow and go style. So you get a nice deeper trunk space. We can even fold this down. As I mentioned, it's a bit of a stow and go style. So how you would do that, like so. So you can fold down the seats. Again, it goes a bit more flat without anything in there. And then you have a nice bit of a higher trunk. But if you need to, again, you can always fold this back. Pull the seats up and now you have six and seven seats and you have a bit more passengers you can accommodate for. I always like this configuration too because you can fold down the seats on the second row just from this little lever here. So it's a super awesome feature if you're not gonna utilize that space for passengers and you need to use it for something else. Let's have a further look at the inside for more features. Okay, taking a look inside the Outlander PHEV 
we are gonna have our beautiful faux suede seating. So as you can see, it's half leather, half suede. When I tell you guys this combo is super comfortable, it's honestly my favorite. Everyone loves the look of leather, but it's super cold when you sit in it in the winter and you're gonna be burned in the summer by it. So if you're like me, you like that nice cloth seats, but you want something a bit more, this is a really nice addition, guys. It's beautiful, it's cozy. It doesn't get better than that. It's super easy to wash too. We have the power seating as well for the driver's side. Nice big panoramic sunroof. And let's have a further look at features. Okay, so we're currently inside the Outlander PHEV LE trim level. Like I mentioned, the vehicle is currently on. So it's in EV mode at the moment. Um, that is why it is super, super quiet. If I were to want to engage my gas engine or charge my gas engine from or charge my battery sorry from the gas engine i would click this ev button here it's actually going to show me so currently i'm in ev mode i can also go into save mode so i can save my current battery of what i have available only 17 percent charge um, and then i have 310 kilometers worth of gas available so essentially if i put it in save or charge mode which i'll put in charge so you can see i'm sure you heard that but it's going to engage my gas engine as you can see so anytime that i come to a slow stop it's going to take that kinetic energy and it's going to go right back into my battery so it's going to recharge reuse the energy so it is super cool as you drive you can kind of see the energy transfer and energy flow i can also put a normal mode and that again is going to keep my gas engine engaged it's going to be a parallel mode because we're going to use both right and then I'm gonna put it back in EV mode. EV mode, guys, is way better in the city. If you're gonna be on the highway, I highly recommend engaging your gas engine, whether that's charging, saving, or normal. Really depends on, obviously, your drive conditions, how much you're driving, and how much battery and gas you have as well. But trust me, it's gonna be a lot more fuel efficient for you, and it's not gonna use up all your battery when you're driving at high speeds. Anything 100 kilometers or above, you are gonna engage your gas engine automatically, so I would, switch that if you can it will engage for you and it will automatically do it for you but just so you guys are learning a little bit of things there are also these paddle shifters so in a regular vehicle these are just kind of to downshift and be more engaged in your vehicle this one here is a lot cooler this is also gonna um take your like kinetic energy and it's gonna be used to recharge your battery but also will come to slow stops so it's harder to explain i'll do another video separate of this so i can explain that further we're also going to have the basics like your nice beautiful heated steering wheel your cruise control settings bluetooth interface all this jazz for the like driver dash and everything like that right i like the energy flow then we're going to have our nine inch smartphone link display you guys can connect with android auto apple carplay you will have your embedded navigations so that is super awesome go back to the menu again like i mentioned you have your multi-view camera system that is my front camera that if i press it again will be the side view camera, uh, only passenger side. And then again, front, if I put the vehicle in reverse, then again, we can see the difference, right? And I'm just gonna press P to park. Moving down as well, climate control settings, we're gonna have our heated seats, heated steering wheel, triple zone, climate control, rear as well. That is why triple. You are gonna have the nice wireless charging as well, so you can charge up to four phones up here. Your seven drive selectable modes, guys lots of options for you your innovative pedal i'm gonna have to do a separate video on this because this video is getting a bit long but this is what you can expect to find in our incredible mitsubishi outlander PHEV le thank you so much for joining me today guys i really do appreciate it and if you have any questions comments leave them down below